We use data from various sources for our data analysis works. Websites are one such source from that we get data very often. If you are to use large data sets, spread over several web pages, copy-paste method may not be effective. Because you can make mistakes while copying and pasting them manually. And also, time-consuming. On the other hand, if you use website data that is updated over time, you have to go to the website every time it updates the content. If you are working with Google Sheets, you have several methods to overcome these issues. In this video, I will show you some of those methods. You can read the complete blog post from the link in the description. Let's see how to import HTML table data to Google Sheets. You can use import HTML and import XML functions to import table data. Import HTML table data using import HTML function. The first parameter of the function, URL is the URL of the web page which you are going to import data from. The second parameter, query is the type of HTML element that you need to import. In this case, it is table. The third parameter, index is a number starting at 1, representing which table in the HTML code you need to import. If you want to import the first table it is 1, and for the second table it is 2, and so on. In this example, if you change the index number to 2, you will get the second table of the web page. Now let's see how to import HTML table data using import XML function. The first parameter of the function is the URL of the web page which you are going to import data from. The second parameter, XPath query can be developed using the XPath to the element you need to import. You can learn more about XPath from this W3Schools tutorial link. To get the XPath, right-click on the beginning of the element that you need to import. Then, click Inspect. This will open up the developer tool of your browser. You can see it will highlight the relevant section of the page when you hover over the HTML code. Right-click on the starting tag of the table element you want to import. Then go to Copy, and, select Copy X Path. Insert this copied X Path as the second parameter. You need to replace any double quotes inside the X Path with single quotes. You can omit the third parameter. If you insert the formula this way, it will include the entire table data in a single cell. Add slash slash tr to the end of the XPath query to get the data in a table format. You can also modify the XPath query to import table rows based on some criteria using predicates. For example, using position greater than 3 will return the rows after the third row. Position greater than 3 and position less than 6 will return only the fourth and fifth rows of the table. You can also use the import XML function with the query function to import only selected columns of the table.
Now, let's see how to import HTML list data to Google Sheets. You can use import HTML and import XML functions to import list data also. Import HTML list data using import HTML function. This is almost similar to importing table data to Google Sheets with the import HTML function. The first parameter of the function, URL is the URL of the web page which you are going to import data from. The second parameter, query is the type of HTML element that you need to import. In this case, it is list. The third parameter, index is a number starting at 1, representing which list in the HTML code you need to import. If you want to import the first list it is 1, and for the second list it is 2, and so on. By changing the index number you can import different lists on the web page. Now let's see how to import HTML list data using the import XML function. The first parameter of the function is the URL of the web page which you are going to import data from. For the second parameter XPath query, copy and paste the XPath to the beginning of the list element. Replace any double quotes in the X path with single quotations. Add slash slash li to the end of the X path. Similar to what you did in importing table data, you can use predicates to import only the list element you need. Import heading elements from web pages to Google Sheets. In addition to what we discussed earlier, the import XML function can be used to import data and various elements on the web page. For example, by using slash slash h2 as the XPath query, you can import all the h2 heading elements on the web page. You can get custom results by modifying the XPath query. Import RSS feed data from websites to Google Sheets. RSS feed is a standardized way of letting you access the latest content of a website, especially blogs and other websites that update regularly. Basically, this is a computer-readable format. For example, you can access the RSS feed of blogs based on WordPress by adding slash feed to the end of the blog URL. Feed readers like Feedly let you import RSS feeds of your favorite websites. It displays the latest content of those websites in an organized manner. You can create your own feed reader in Google Sheets using the import feed function to read the latest content of your favorite websites. For example, here we import post titles and the URL of the latest posts in bpwebs.com.
You can also use Google Apps Script to import various types of data from websites to Google Sheets. You can visit our blog for more examples from the link in the description.